sometimes when I'm not at home and I want to make broth, uh, like magic mineral broth or p pasture beef bone broth, I'll use my slow cooker. And so I put all my ingredients in the slow cooker and, uh, and then I'll just set it. First I turn the power on. And then I am just gonna set it for about two and a half hours because I'm just, let's, I'm just doing magic mineral broth today. And that's it, done. And then I can just walk away. I never get tired of that smell. So another shortcut of making broths is using um, what's called an Instapot, which is basically an electronic pressure cooker, like a foolproof pressure cooker, very different from the pressure cookers I grew up with. So I just put everything in the Instapot and I can have magic mineral broth in as little as 45 minutes, soup to nuts, done. I love to do bone broths in my slow cooker and especially the pasture beef bone broth, my recipe for pasture beef bone broth, which has the base of the magic mineral broth. And sometimes what I'll do is I will take uh, like a couple of quarts of magic mineral broth that I have and I'll put it in the slow cooker and I'll take my roasted bones and I'll put them in and then I will just set it and walk away. So sometimes I want to make a soup really quick. Like I just get this idea, I have to have soup now and I haven't had time or I haven't had enough forethought to, to defrost my stock in advance. I'm just going to screw this top off and just run some water over the bottom of this. And that, what that does is it helps to loosen it. And then, whoops, and then boom, right into the pot. Then I just take it over to the stove. And in about three minutes, this will be totally defrosted, ready to go. No microwaving ever in plastic. Sometimes I just want to sip on a bone broth, but I need to do something to it. Like if I'm just going to have a mug full. So what I like to do is take some fresh turmeric root and I like to infuse it into the bone broth. So now it's going to, it's going to go in there and I'm just going to let it infuse for about 20 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes. And the reason why I do this is because if I put turmeric root in at the beginning of the process, it will become bitter. But if I do it right now, just as kind of an, a finishing touch, it will add a very floral, lovely note. So I like to do that. I also like to add ginger to it. Some people love to add maybe some mushrooms like shiitake or something like that. Um, if I'm drinking it as a tea, I'll add a spritz of lemon, a pinch of salt. So you can get creative with your bone broths. You can infuse them with all sorts of things. But I, again, I like to kind of do it on an individual basis rather than like do four quarts of bone broth that's infused with turmeric because I might not use four quarts as a sipping tea. Maybe I'll use one. Mm. That's good. Voila. Magic mineral broth. Bye.